Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So I have spent the last week living here at Maxwell's Motorcycles. The week has been really crazy. I mean, to say crazy is a huge understatement. I have uh, basically lived my life this week eating a whole bunch of Pop-Tart Bites and uh, raiding the New Air refrigerator here, which is famous on YouTube for it's Mountain Dews. I'm actually gonna grab another one before I leave. Now I got here Monday night, uh, we filmed all day Tuesday, I edited for the better part of Wednesday. Uh, Wednesday night we reviewed that video and I think it went live on John's channel on Thursday. Uh, there was an intention to do an awful lot more videos. Uh, just really crazy around here. So before I go any further, uh, this was my sleeping arrangement for the week and it is a complete disaster. Uh, but it worked out really, really well. I thank John for those accommodations, but I am not gonna leave it like this. So let's go ahead, clean it up real quick, and then get back to it. Yeah, that's way better. Cleaning montages, super boring. Just use the uh, water cooler here as a tripod stand. Interesting story about this cooler. So I watched your video last night. I moved the water cooler because it was noisy. The loudest water machine ever. I'm sleeping right there. <laughs> I thought, thank, thank I, you. I almost mentioned it where it's loud because I was like, man, I need to film this video and it's running right now, but where I'm gonna move it is right next to Dan. That dude's gonna be like sleeping with some headphones on tonight. It's loud. So I learned a few things this week. One thing I learned is, first of all, there are an awful lot of veterans that are customers of the shop. So everybody that I met, thank you. It was a pleasure. Thank you for your service. As I'm also out here returning the keys, I've got a pocket full of them right now, to the Indian Chieftain Dark Horse. There goes the shop key. So uh, John Price, thank you very much for letting me ride your 2020 Chieftain Dark Horse. I will have a review coming on that sometime soon for the week. It was an absolute pleasure, but ultimately I learned a couple things this week. Uh, one is that John is just incredibly busy. Uh, it's 100% understandable why YouTube content has been less than what you guys were used to seeing uh, for sure. And it's not because uh, he doesn't wanna be on YouTube, it's because uh, running this shop is uh, two full-time jobs it seems um, at once. But the good thing is with uh, Greg now on this lift here, things are picking up and uh, getting better and it looks like there is some light at the end of the tunnel. But what was interesting to me uh, by far the most is uh, the two things that I had learned this week was coming in here on Tuesday, filming the video of a day in the life of the Harley Tech and watching how much really goes on here in a day's time uh, helped put it into perspective from day one. When I shot that video, I actually thought to myself, this is absolutely insanity uh, and it just looked like John was buried. However, what was really interesting was I was then able to go uh, in the edit and relive that day. I saw that it's actually a lot more controlled chaos than one might think. And again, a lot of it has to do with Greg being here, working on bikes, uh, getting things out. But uh, John does have a method to this madness. There is a rhyme and reason to everything here, uh, very organized. So then the other part of this week that was probably the best of all of it was that last night, Friday night, uh, we were uh, in the shop. John was wrenched until 7.30, I wanna say. And uh, he said, you know what? I have not ridden my motorcycle at all in 2021. This shop has just been so busy. Now he's ridden all of these other motorcycles because he's gotta go out and test ride them and things, but uh, just been so busy, he hasn't had a chance to ride his own bike. So last night uh, we hopped on the bikes. Uh, I took the Chieftain and uh, we went out from like eight to maybe, I think I got back here shortly after 1 a.m. So uh, just got a chance to go out and uh, ride around a bit, uh, get some dinner, uh, have a couple drinks. That was actually probably the uh, better thing out of all of this, but I was proud that I was able to come in here, get a video out uh, for his channel, putting all of this into perspective for all of his subscribers. And um, I hope you guys appreciated it for sure because it was a pleasure, it was an honor, uh, and I was happy to do it. But as I'm wrapping up my week here, you know, the most important thing that I learned watching everybody come in here and the interactions and all that and just seeing how busy this shop is, is that 
you know, John, he's just another guy like you, me, uh, just a dude kind of doing the best he can to uh, make things happen with an incredible work ethic. But at the end of the day, you know, he's a dad, a husband, a business owner, a soccer coach, and a great friend to everybody who comes in this building, including me. I will forever uh, be grateful for the fact that uh, he opened his doors for me, gave me a place to crash for the week, and uh, allowed me to come in here and try to lend a helping hand if I could. Anybody in the world could start their own shop, start their own business. And uh, what separates the people from, you know, the rise to the top are the ones with just incredible work, work ethic and uh, the creativity as a YouTuber that I think helps apply to this is that uh, you're always able to find a way to make things happen. And I think people need to realize that, John, we'll be back on YouTube. It's not a matter of not wanting to do it. It's a matter of just time. Time is very limited. Uh, it's the most valuable resource that we have. And at the end of the day, uh, I don't think people even know he's had a, a, another kid this year. I think he made a, an announcement on Instagram, but um, he, they have a 10 month old and that adds a whole, whole nother layer to uh, complexity of life. So John does have a true passion for this business, a true passion for YouTube, a true passion about basically his entire life uh, in general. And I can tell you, he will be back on YouTube. He is grateful of those of you who are being patient. <laughs> there are uh, times when I know like comments can fly in of uh, people who are like, where's my content? And uh, it's kind of sad to me at times to know that uh, people kind of lose context to the fact that, like I said, we are all just people, you, me, uh, we all have our, our lives. And sometimes I think, and I'm guilty of it too, watching YouTube, you view the creator in a bit of a vacuum and uh, you get so into the content that at times you forget that uh, when that camera turns off, they may have uh, a wife behind them, they may have a soccer practice coming up, they might have a customer behind them. Uh, there might be a million other things, and there probably are a million other things going on in these people's lives, including mine, including John's, that uh, sometimes I think consumers, including myself, lose a little context on. So I'm happy that I was able to come here for the week, get that context. It's been truly an amazing experience. So. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'm gonna hop in my rental car, head back to Atlanta. I will see you guys next time.